start out? You want to start? I'll start. Uh, or we can continue with the music. What's up, everyone, and welcome to The Weekly Flair, episode 20. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me, as always, for all 20 episodes, Mr. Chris Garcia. I'm surprised I've waited this long. I've come this far. You've made it this far. What's better, 20 or 25? We've gone so... Well, 25 is a quarter of a century. Half a year close to it. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. Oh, you have meerkats dancing over there. Uh Uh-oh, losing connection. Oh, well. We have too many things connected. Who knows what's going to happen here. (laughs) All right, Chris, did you have a good week? Actually, Can you believe we made it to episode 20? I'm very... No, I'm not surprised. I'm glad we we made it this far. Did you do anything this week? I watched some movies with the wife. That was it? Yeah. That's that's mostly what we mm-hmm. did. I played softball, you know. I went to Carowinds. Oh, you went to Carowinds. How's that? Carowinds was amazing. They have a new ride called Fury 325. Was it Fury? It was. It was amazing. I went on it twice. Was it Fury? That doesn't make any sense. I can't believe you answered that question. <laughs> it was It went 325 feet up in the air. Straight up? Yes. Well, not straight up. Uh, I can't really know. But it dropped 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Mm-hmm. And it went 95 miles an hour. Um, I got sunburned, something else, and uh, I'm going to call this Amish whipped. When I got home, or when I got off, when I started going home, my beard was out to here. And I really hope that doesn't offend any Amish people it's listening. Me. Why? How are the Amish people going to be whipped? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was waiting for that joke. <laughs> I heard Weird Al's song. They apparently don't have any electricity. Oh, man. Okay, I don't know. That's just what I've heard. Have they might to, have electricity. Have you been to Pennsylvania? Yes. I've been to Pennsylvania a couple times. Okay. More than a couple times, but that's not the point. I was the point to... is, it's episode 20, mm-hmm. and you went to Carowinds to celebrate. Yes, without you. Yes. Did you go on Saturday? I've gone Saturday without you. Without, without you. I would have gone. Okay. I had to work. I know, I heard. All right, Chris, maybe we should talk about some stories instead of you going to Carowinds and me doing some terrible covers of songs. Well, I had to get Because we're going to do that later. I had to get that joke out before we started. All right, so what do we got this week? We got, again, some great stories because I say that every week. Got some great stories. Because we got great stories every week. It's because I pick out great stories. It's because he just goes to the same website and goes, hey, let's talk about these things. It works, and all 10 of you continue to come back. Hey, then ten of them like it, so that's the important part. That's pretty good. You know, we got two viewers, we got two listeners on Stitcher. Really? Yeah. Are they, are they supporting? No, on Stitcher, not on Patreon. Stitcher is like a podcast app. It's like uh, a radio app. My, I uh, I told a friend about mine. He doesn't have an iPhone, but he has something called Podbay. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. You can download podcasts onto that app. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things on Android, but we could go on for hours. Definitely. But uh, again. We have Chris Norton. He's a former college football player who broke his neck during a game in 2010. Um, he was given a 3% chance to ever uh, regain movement below his neck. It's um, not a very good chance. No, definitely not. But over a life-changing weekend, he beat the odds and then some. Uh, on Saturday, he got engaged. Congratulations. So those were the, the odds he beat? No. Oh. He defeated more. He defeated the odds and the evens. And then so some. he was what the ace? Probably. I don't know. Unless what, ace what, is two. Ace is wild. Could be two. <laughs> or one. <laughs> or eleven. <laughs> what game are we playing? I don't know poker. <laughs> uh, but on Sunday, he walked across the stage at his graduation. Again, walked. He graduated from Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, accomplishing a goal he had set over a year ago. So, uh, assisted by his fiance Emily, uh, he rose from the wheelchair and took. Took steps in front of a cheering crowd to receive his diploma in business management. Do you think he got engaged so that that way the story would say it was his fiance to help him across instead of his girlfriend? I honestly can't answer that. What do you think? No, I I think that'd be a ridiculous reason to ask someone to marry him. True. Let's see here. In 48 hours, he received two things that he probably never saw he thought he could receive. Wait, you don't think he ever thought he'd get married? I'm not really sure. Surely he did. He, th- he surely he did. He might not have thought he could walk. And now that one I would agree mm-hmm. with you. Or graduate. Well, he did because he set a goal he was going to walk for his graduation. He set a goal. So I, he personally thought he could walk again. Yeah. Just the odds didn't think he could watch, walk again. I think I would have been a little bit down on myself. but uh, Yeah. 3% chance? 
That's like, uh, yeah, forget about it. You have a better chance of winning the lottery, I'm pretty sure, than that. Pretty much. No, yeah. you don't. You have like well, one in like 10 million chance. That's like point oh 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 one or something. Yeah, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But. Hey, better chance of being struck by lightning, though. Yeah. No. Well, shout out to Chris. Congratulations. Congratulations. On both ends. On all on, around. On, th on three things. Marriage, graduation, and walking. And also, four things. Doesn't he do something to, like, help? Wasn't he the thing with... No. No? Okay, maybe I read too many stories this week. We did read too many stories. Anyways. So cool, the guy could walk again. And this time there was no prosthetics. Definitely. I, you sent me the story and I thought for sure it was going to be more, more 3D printed prosthetics or something. And I was surprised. He actually just did it on his own. So sometimes the original ways are the best ways. Yes. A heart. Like using your own feet. In your heart. And determination. And a little bit of stubbornness, probably. And love. And training. He graduated. He actually finished school a semester early, so he could spend the whole last semester just getting ready to walk. Wow. So, I did read that in there. What did we, uh, what have we talked about for the past three weeks? Amiibo. That too. We always talk about that. Amiibo! 20 weeks. Another thing. Um, I don't know. Police officers. We have talked about police officers. We talk about a lot. police officers. Chris, why do we talk so much about police officers? Because there was some... it because somebody is going to be a police officer one day. Me? Or did you move on? No, I think I moved on. Moved on. Okay. I, it was an option, but well, you're pretty good at sales, so I think that's pretty. That's pretty. Yeah. You're pretty true. good at that. True. But Chicago Police, probably one of the toughest divisions or one of the toughest areas in the nation. Besides Los Angeles and New York and Phoenix. I don't know. I think every place that you're a police is probably pretty serious. Definitely. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to all the police. And what happened? Firemen. Well, what happened in Chicago was... The Blackhawks? That's hockey. a sports team, right? I think so. I don't watch hockey. Yeah. I don't watch hockey. But these police officers are making sure all young women have a date that they deserve to a formal dance. How young are the women? Um, this I, could be scandalous. Well, at the Chicago Police Department, first da father daughter dance last oh, Friday. Okay. Father daughter dance. Father daughter dance. I think it. it you worried there for a second. Well, it accepts all ages, I guess you can say. Well, all daughters and fathers, I would imagine. Yes. Officers took an extra step of personally escorting girls who wish to attend, but whose fathers don't play an active role in their lives. Um, it once in a lifetime thing be uh, because some people don't really associate with their fathers. I guess you can say that some fathers are not there. Maybe some have died. Maybe some are overseas serving uh, for our great nation. But the Chicago Police Department gave uh, these, yeah, they just want to do something nice, and um, if they went a little further. And any daughters who didn't have their fathers either actively in their lives or were unavailable, they stepped in and helped them out and kind of just escorted them to the dance. Yes. So that's pretty awesome. Thank I wonder you. if those police officers had their own daughters. And they just escorted both of them to the dance, or if they didn't have daughters, mm -hmm. so they like I don't know, or maybe they like got officers from other divisions to it, come and help. It or? says it says the sh Chicago it says Chicago is a big. Oh, Chicago is a big area. They have oh, a lot yeah. of departments, so um, I guess I I'm assuming one, two, three, four, six, eight were on duty, and that means uh, that. Alternative Policing Strategy Offices at uh, District 5, 7, and 9, along with National Organization Black Law Enforcement Executives. So that means they were pretty open. They had these departments open that they were able to take That's these, awesome. take these uh, children out and uh, give them what they deserve. Because everyone deserves a father-daughter dance? Yes. Chris, did you get your father-daughter dance? No, because I don't have a kid yet. No, but you have a father. You said everyone deserves a father-daughter dance. I haven't gotten one yet. Yeah. I'm going to talk to my dad about that. I know, right? Have you gotten one? No, I'm not a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you just walked right into that one and right kept on one. going. I was trying to get my way out of it. I was like, uh. <laughs> All right. So, Chris, there's a few things we like on this podcast. Star Wars. We like Star Wars. Yes. We like Amiibo. Yes. We like food. Not that we talk about food much, but we do. But things that we talk about, we, we like stories that are kind of an uplifting, positive spin on the community. Mm-hmm. We like technology, but there's also something else that we really like on this show. I'll give you three guesses. 
Technology. Technology, but that's not what I'm talking about. I said that already. Um, things that are that are trying to be achieved, and we're getting closer and closer to them, but we can't. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Oh. This is the big one. Actually, you've already said the big ones. Probably the big ones. You shouldn't look at what's on the screen, because that's not what it is. No. I'm trying to think. Uh, food's a big one. We have food hiding underneath the table every day, every, every time we podcast. That's not food. Chris, if you don't guess, guess this, we're going to have bad blood. Oh my gosh. That's right. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> we, we now, personally, neither of us cares much about the Billboard Music Awards. No. Or really the Billboard music at all. We, uh, I mean, I, I keep up with popular music just because I'm curious what's popular. Mm -hmm. And, um, but Taylor Swift, though, is different all around. We, we really, we really like Taylor Swift on the Weekly Flare for some reason, and we don't know why. So, uh, we watched Taylor Swift's Bad Blood music video, which if you haven't seen it, uh, you should probably watch it. It's already got 85 million views, so there's a good chance you probably already watched it. But if not... It's a, it was pretty entertaining. Oh, it was. Uh, you know, it was more entertaining for Taylor Swift than the music video that she just texted some people and was like, hey, you want to be in my music video? And all these celebrities showed up. How about her being nominated for like, oh, I don't know, like 12 Billboard Music Awards? Was one of them for the music video? One of them was for Most Watched Music Video, but that was because of Shake It Off. Ah, okay. This music video, Bad Bloods just came out. Okay. Was, so it would have been after the nominations mm, for the BMAs. But, but has 85... Over 85 million views already. Uh, yeah, insane. Probably out that much. So you can imagine. It probably would have won had it been released before the nominations, which were like months ago. Yeah. But she won eight categories, including top artist, top female artist, top hot 100 artist, top music stream, top song stream, top, top streaming artist, or something like that. Just, it was ridiculous. Uh, she destroyed the, the BMA. She's like on the top of the Billboard 100 again. Uh, she was in Forbes like Power Woman top list. Like she's just everywhere. Uh, so shout out to Taylor Swift because, I don't know, just because we can. Because Taylor Swift, you're cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, just, just you know. Just so, a, just a thought we'd throw that out there. Throw it out there. We you have know. to. We have to. I mean, it's Taylor Swift. <clears throat> kind of like, uh, what do you want? You want to take a break before we move on? Yeah, we can do that. So, yeah, I guess we'll be right back. Just shake it off, and we'll be right back. 